Okay, now the big reciprocal identity is not these. these are, this isn't the big one. The big one, I want everybody to write uh, trig identity number one, the big one. What is it? Without looking. Mm -hmm. Sine x over cosine x equals tangent of x. Now we're also going to write the cotangent of x. Isn't that the reciprocal of tangent? So what is it equal to? Cosine x over sine x. These identities, you need to use them over and over again. And looking it up doesn't do you any good because you need to recognize them when you see them. You see what I mean? It's like you can't look them all up. You can have a whole page of them, or two or three pages of them, but you need to recognize them when you see them. What was our other big trig identity? Sine, Sine squared, squared x plus cos cosine, cosine squared x equals 1. one. From this one and this one, we can get some more. And this one too. Watch this. I'd like everybody to divide all of these by cosine squared x. Take sine squared x plus cosine squared x equals 1 and divide everything by cosine squared x. Remember when we divide by c squared? Kind of like that. sine over cosine squared, which happens to be tangent squared x. Isn't this tangent squared x? This is cosine squared x over cosine squared x. What's that? Yeah, and what do they give you? Not zero. One, one. And one over cosine x squared is one over cosine Now take them, take the original, sine squared x plus cosine squared x equals 1, and divide everything by cosine squared x. Sorry, sine squared x. Divide everything by sine squared x this time. cosine over sine, I want you to immediately think of cotangent. You need to. And when you see 1 over sine, cosine. Cosine. Does everybody see these are very similar to each other? By the way, can't I switch these? So that this one looks a whole lot like this one, doesn't it? Take a look. Cotangent squared x plus 1 equals cosecant squared x. They're not hard to remember. They're pretty easy to remember. Now we have a whole bunch of trig identities. And there are ways of, ide uh, there's ways of verifying identities. 
Now I'm going to show you an identity that you're very familiar with before we do anything else. 